In this recording, is obviously discussing on question two from this common test, young September 2018, by KZN. Um, in the description boxes, or told my links for other recordings. So, our question two, Ukulo Mangama static vectors. Lana Gibati, in the system below, the two masses labeled M, this one, and then 10 kilogram are connected to each other by two light in light strings A and B at point O. Now point O, una two yama strings one and two. A is connected to M and then B is connected to 10. And then point O is kept stationary or static by attaching it to a wall using a string C, meaning the objects are not moving. U10, no M, they are not moving. They are stationary or static. There's no movement. And then we have the, stat the coefficient of static friction between the 10 kilogram mass and the surface is 0 0.51. Uh, okay, there's two types of frictions. I see as Kulumanga or physics. When a static friction as well as E kinetic friction right kinetic friction lana si kunumang is static friction because of cinema static vectors there's no motion if ever your object ya kai move it has something called a static friction and in order with leo object move you need to overcome leo static friction le. and then there's something called a kinetic friction once the object move he experiences something called a static friction so that's the difference between the two static friction and kinetic friction normally lagma vectors vele si guma static vectors ikulumange static friction like in our case la na question 2 2.1 but is it define e static friction is a force that opposes the tendency the tendency the tendency of motion by a stationary object relative to the surface. We have one argument. She learned to be a basic argument. While I was explaining the difference between static friction and e kinetic friction. 2.2 .2. Calculate the magnitude of the frictional force between the 10 kg mass and its surface. Now, Lago 2.2 Sifuna is static friction. The frictional force in question, uh, it's the static friction. The static friction is the calculator using this. The static friction is equal to mu s, the coefficient of static friction, times the normal force. Okay. The friction is for the 10 kilogram mass. Yes. I see in a free body diagram for this 10 kg. Okay. Um, okay, Yalena. No, Pizobanga, 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 Pizobanga. Now, check out, my check out. Sine normal force, sine static friction, sine tension, sino FG, the gravitational force. Yes? Now the static friction is equal to mu s times the normal force. The normal force in this case is equal to the gravitational force. Yes? Is equal to the gravitational force. So therefore, mu s is the coefficient of static friction. Basipe on 0.51. Yam substitute. Multiplied by the normal force. The normal force retained is equal to the gravitational acceleration. So it means that it's mass times g the gravitational acceleration so it's 10 times 9.8 so i see calculator guys uh, calculator 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 okay salute 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 now oh calculator available All right, now I, now I calculate it. Now it's 0 0.51 times 10 times
times 9,8. This is equal to 4.98 newtons. 49.98 newtons. It's equal to 49.98 newtons. So this is the friction, the static frictional force. The force lena, the force lena. Shukuti. In order to do 10 kilogram, I move. I move it to the left. I show the frictional force. It's this way. A tension. It's this way. So in order for what the object, you got 10 kilogram, I move. In order for this object to move, the tension. Or if there's an applied force, la, right? If there's an applied force, la, I'm assuming. See, assume, la, but okay. Let's assume a applied force here. And then, in order for this 10 kilogram mass to move, it must be greater than this static frictional force. Yes? It must be greater than little ganj, the static frictional force. Now, 2.3. 2.3 but is it determine the mass m mass m so if you know this mass so if you know this mass okay 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 mass m weight or the gravitational force is equal to mass times gravitational acceleration for this mass right in order to calculate to m, getting a any, getting the gravitational force, yes, getting the weight, getting the amount of weight. Why is on jalo? If in nali value la, na this g. If in no weight, I mean if in no weight, u g in na anyway it's a constant. I can calculate u m. So in other words, I need the weight of this object in order to calculate its own mass right in order to calculate the mass your core so for now m in order to calculate to m the weight of that object that's the idea here right is there is there any other way we calculate the mass um, i don't think so that's the only way that's the only way because of mass available formula weight equal to mass times gravitational acceleration so or calculator the weight so since this is a i'm a vectors in static right i'm a, I'm, a, I'm a static vectors right i'm a static vectors you might appeal all my vectors and so good the system in a move or the system would be static it's not three i'm a vectors and so good the system in a be in a move i mean so you know vector number one which is the tensional force a a a look i created by u, u string b right and it's to the right it's to the right it's to the right to move if ever i should pick the i not in mar lana the mass m ufunu ya gupi ufunu ya pants so it, which is another vector so u mass m nagaya nagaya pants u 10 kilogram ufuna pulela to the right in order to to maintain or to keep it look like balancing the look like the static system so if ever we you pull we are pants you push your you push your dosella to the right and then the third one which is the string c attached to the wall also pull her upward okay about a we are pants who be with a my pants you see now because of we want to maintain stability into this system we want to maintain the statics in this system now kuma vectors instead kuma vector I'm, I'm, I'm a stationary vectors or I'm, I'm a static vectors a former what we call a closed triangle yes a former what we call a closed triangle check out check out check out check out check out passive an angle meaning this is 90 degrees let us know 90 degrees la. this 90 degrees is still with the u vector b no vector a they are perpendicular to each other i send this so this is what's happening la. we are 
me bigger. This is the horizontal vector. This is the horizontal vector. Uh, okay. Puyala. Talala. And then this is our hypotenuse. And then this is the vertical vector. Okay. So a closed triangle we form a ganji. It's head, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail. Ungasemen sane koye bati. Mene tail to tail na head to tail method. So tina last seven sane the head to tail method. So now combine lama vectors. Now wa sanga ni salama vectors lao. They actually give you a triangle. Our static vectors they give you a triangle like this one. Okay. So Lana we know what he also Lona vector bani u vector A. This is vector A. So it's the gravitational force formed by Ulogai U mass A. And then this is the ve hmm. Okay, I said to F G Lu. But instead tension bani tension B and then let's call this one um tension C. Now lana scati tension A but Lana niti F G A ngoba it's the force due to any a gravity get la yes force due to any a gravity. Now check this out again. Lana it's ninety ngoba this and this are perpendicular to each other. And then the angle yala the angle la between the vertical vector and this hypotenuse is what is 40 degrees about 140 plus 14 gets 180 which are my angles on the straight line so lana is 40 and then lana is going to be 50 degrees over 40 plus 50 it's 90 plus 90 is 180 sum of angles in a triangle now check this out again check this out now 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 up i do have up utp it's this 49,98 newtons this the tension lana go b it must be equal to the static frictional force ngoba up t i mean ngoba the mass 10 kilogram i move is static so the tension Remember, I'm going to try free body diagram. Not in a frictional force, la. normal force, Fg, la. right? So, this object got 10 kilogram. I move. So, all the vectors, vertical vectors must be equal to zero. The horizontal vectors, F network corner must be equal to zero. So, therefore, this is equal to this. F, F, Fs. The static friction is equal to the tension gelapa. So that's why I need to tension B is equal to 49.98. Now FGA ang mazi gaye. Mfuna ye na remember ngteni mfuna i weight yala or u FG wala. Once you tolo FG wala ngzo kwazo calculator ini i mass. Now since this is a right angle triangle. This is a right angle triangle. If this is a right angle triangle, because of obtain again, I can apply a trigonometric ratios and calculate UFGA the weight of this object. Now check out the uh, For this angle 40 degrees, UTB is opposite, and then this is adjacent. Remember? This is opposite, and then this is adjacent. Now, EP trigonometric ratio A involve our opposite no adjacent. It's tan, tan, forty degrees. Us over equal to opposite TB over adjacent FGA. T forty degrees is equal to <laughs> is equal to is equal to TB. 49,98 divided by Fg 
FGA. Then you cross multiply. Then I cross multiply. Then I cross multiply. Okay. Then you cross multiply. FGA is equal to this times that, this times this. And then you divide them off. Tan. 40 degrees so therefore FGA is about 49,98 divided by tan 40 degrees see calculate take a man shit is 49,98 divided by tan 40 degrees this is equal to 59.56 59.56 five six fifty nine point five six but how about see round it off to three decimal places ah, but anyway you're right man you're right this is not the final answer the reason why we need to see round it off to three decimal places because of this is not the final answer once in you round it off to three decimal places in you increase the accuracy of the final answer i am the final answer i am in fun we express as two decimal places so it's best to put lama answer at taller before the final answer or around the off to higher decimal places so that the answer give are much more accurate but anyway um it doesn't matter that much but as too big eh? so this is the weight so the weight is equal to mass times gravitational acceleration therefore we substitute again the way to one fifty nine comma five six equal to mass times nine comma eight mass is over equal to you know, divide the both sides by nine point eight so is already fifty nine five nine point five six divided by nine comma eight this is equal to um six point zero in two decimal places to zero eight so it's six comma zero eight kilograms this is our final answer okay this is the mass for this video m now two point four Will the force in string A increase, decrease, or stay the same if U string B is detached from the 10 kilogram mass? Now, what will happen if the string B, if string saga B is detached from 10 kilogram, what will happen to the force la na gulukanchi gu string a guess what it will remain the same it will stay the same stay the same it will stay the same why ngi shonjalo it's because of the force in string a is the gravitational force gabani ga mass m so whether we are detached or we are wenzani la gu string b it doesn't matter oksala uti the force in string a is the gravitational force and it's unaffected by anything right there's nothing is to affect a gravitational force unless tell me the question says what will happen to this to the force in string a if we take the system to another planet example planet mass then the force in string a is will change and what about the gravitational acceleration also changes from planet to planet but with 2.4 the answer is stay the same what about it's the gravitational force with string a now our video guys thanks for tuning in thanks for watching now we enjoy this video of course look like on a course look share on a course look subscriber check out the description box links for other recordings and why is it for the question paper now we interested to check for now, I'll on the next video. Bye-bye.